We have a sad development to start off our newscast with that story we've been following all week. A well-known greater Cincinnati businessman, Michael Sweeney, died after a suspected road rage shooting that happened on 75. Now, our Candace Hare joins us now live from the Cincinnati Police Department with a deeper look at this trend of road rage incidents that have been happening here locally. Yes, Trisha Megan here at the Cincinnati Police Department. The investigation into that suspected road rage shooting death of Michael Sweeney continues, but this led me to look into how often instances of road rage are happening. And as you're about to see, reports of road rage across the state of Ohio have been increasing for years. One of the males is possibly bleeding from the neck from a GSW. 70 year old Michael Sweeney is dead after a Saturday shooting on I-75 that police tell me is being treated as a road rage incident. Police say Sweeney had been shot in the head. According to Sweeney's obituary, he worked in the automobile business for more than 40 years and leaves behind four kids. Sweeney's death marks one of the latest in what is a rising trend of road rage instances seen across the state of Ohio. Data the Ohio State Highway Patrol shared with me shows a steady increase in road rage reports statewide between 2020 and 2022. And as you can see, so far this year, reports of road rage remain at those heightened levels. All units responding North 75 is going to be a confirmed shooting. Sometimes road rage results in a shooting, as police say was the case with Sweeney. According to national data collection website, the Gun Violence Archive, two road rage shootings, including the one in which Sweeney lost his life, have been reported in Cincinnati this year. They account for half of the reported road rage shootings statewide in 2023. In Sweeney's case, police say the suspect is still on the loose. There was people inside the car with the victim. They stated that it's going to be a light silver or gray Nissan or Chevy four-door sedan with heavy right side damage. Now, as CPD's homicide unit continues to investigate what led up to Sweeney's death, anyone who knows anything about that shooting is urged to come forward to police. Reporting live from the Cincinnati Police Department, Candace Hare, Fox 19 Now.